Is GPU mining worth it in April 2019? So let's mine away. Hello guys and welcome back to Bit True to your host Mark Luther. In today's video we're doing another cryptocurrency mining video. They were looking at you know some GPUs. The first one is the 1080 Ti. Okay, we're going to calculate the profitability of it. Okay, and we're going to see what cards prices okay the 1080 Ti are rocking, and then we are going to calculate the ROI. The next card is RX 580, the GTX 1080 8 gigabytes model, and the 1070 Ti. Anyways, let's start with the video. The first one is the GTX 1080 Ti rocking with all the algorithms and 12 cents per kilowatt hour, which is the average of the United States. That's 64 cents profit. Now, that's what we're going to calculate. Now, the best offer I've got on eBay scrapping the bottom of the barrel is a GTX 1080 Ti for $520 without a bid. Now there are some bids out there okay, going for much lower, but a lot of people have complained, why are you showing bids? We don't like bids because price can go can go even higher than this. So this is the best price you can find used, of course. And in mining, you need to buy used so you can actually get the ROI. Anyways, the profitability is 64 cents. So let's calculate what was the price. 520 that's without the shipping or any VAT fees that apply if you're living in Canada or anywhere else so we're looking at 800 days 812 days to be precise on one algorithm if you know x16r is you know gone away which I you know doubt it will happen okay we will go down to 43 cents profit now what if we have 1.19 dollars that's going to be less than 500 days Okay, so 520, okay, divided by um, 1.119, okay, that's about 436 days, that's one of the best ROIs you can find there on the market. Now, the next one is the RX 580, one of the golden GPUs of its time. Now, it's not really golden since, you know, it's not that profitable anymore. 11 cents, okay, now the RX 580 used, no bids, okay, in the United States. One twenty-four dollars, so one twenty-five. Okay, divided by eleven cents, I believe that's about one thousand one hundred thirty-six days. This one with electricity fees applied was eight hundred twelve days, thousand one hundred twelve one hundred days. So that's a lot of time. Okay, eleven cents now without electricity costs. Okay, let's calculate that divided by what is the mining calculation? Fifty cents. Wow, so so what 250 days, which is even better, but I doubt if you're going to get any free electricity on an ASIC. Anyways, the GTX 1080, I have two of these K12 okay, cents per kilowatt hour. Okay, you have about 51 cents profitability. This is the best offer you can find there on the market $339 or 340 without the shipping fees, VAT fees, any fees applying, no uh, bids. So 340 divided by what's the 0.51 cents? Okay, that's profit. So 666 days, which is you know the devil. Okay, up in here. Anyways, 0.94 uh, cents. What is the price? Um, 340 divided by 0.94 cents. You know, I think that's a lot of misleading because when mining, you don't get that. You know at least for me 361 days which is interesting okay the next one is the 1070 ti let's calculate this okay 36 profit okay so 275 dollars okay used no bids 275 divided by the man i have the memory of a goldfish anyways uh, that's 763 days now without the electricity costs uh, 275 right Yes, divided by 0 0.74. 0 0.74, we're getting about 371 days. So without electricity, we're looking at 300 day ranges, even less than that with, you know, an RX 580. Okay, 436 days. So without electricity, the 1070 Ti is the winner. With electricity, the 1080 uh, Ti is a winner. So a lot of people are going to ask me, is GPU mining worth it? In 2019 now to me that's so worth it and let me tell you why it's worth it because if we're looking at the results and if we look at history again okay GPUs are better than ASICs I know there's a lot of 
ASIC fanboys that are going to come on this video and going to say but ASICs are more efficient ASICs are better ASICs you know they get better hash rates better profitability better ROI but let me tell you something you do not live in a market or just join a market living by your own rules okay you this is a whole different ecosystem a whole different market okay this does not really play by your own rules you know you whether you like it or not if you want to enter the market you have to play by its own rules and these ASICs okay that you see on the market yes they're profitable yes higher ROI yes they're efficient but at the end of the day okay you know it speaks for itself the risk for reward ratio does not adjust accordingly with those ASICs like for example okay there's a lot of this advantages and advantages for GPUs and ASICs combined and there's a lot of comparison but of course at the end of the day these GPUs have a resale value for example this guy could have you know mined with this GPU back in 2017 okay made some profit and trying to resell this card to the miners and still they will buy it because you know at the end of the day these miners want to buy used cards you know they want to make a profit on their investment that's how you make a profit on your investment you know at the end of the day it does not matter how much profitability per se it depending on the ROI if you have an ROI that's the best investment and these ASICs you know there are a lot of examples of ASICs that went you know just obsolete and these ASICs remember okay they don't have any resale value if you have an ASIC okay and you have been mining on it for a year okay and then you want to resell it the hash rate may be down okay you know not a lot of hash rate as the market right now no one will buy it from you okay even if it was like twelve dollars no one will buy it you know that's maybe a lot of exaggeration but anyways because you know the s9 is the best example we had this company you know that you know company what is it called ice rock whatever it's called okay and they used to buy these s9s and they now have 500 s9 ASICs and you can look at their YouTube channel they're still bragging about these s9s okay and they're not making any profit because these s9s they're not adjusted accordingly to the difficulty nowadays the difficulty changes a lot of things things change you know people who use GPUs back in the day okay in April May of 2018 when they mined on the x16r algorithm okay I remember those days when you used to make like at least a hundred raven coin per you know per six hours or even 12 hours when you used to you know win raven coin and look how raven coin have went you know raven coin is now you know crushing it on the market you know if you could have mined solo okay i have a friend who mined solo on his gpu and got 5000 raven coins back in the days of course not right now and look where it is now you know prices are up okay it's listed on binance crypto bridge these big guys up in here okay and then you know you can look at that ROI you know you could have mined tons of raven coin and now it's paying off you know we're not only talking about you know ethereum or ethereum classic we're talking about other cryptocurrencies no now it's you know it's an all-time high maybe if you mine back in here in April and 15 okay you know you could have made a lot of you know ROI and a lot of profitability and all that stuff and you know it's still not you know time for you know it's not the end you know there's still going to be new cryptocurrencies there's still going to be new innovations in this market but maybe right now not as much as we used to see now at the end of the day should you buy a GPU or an ASIC depending on your understanding of this market to me I will never buy an ASIC unless I have a calculated risk to reward ratio because there are ASICs that went obsolete, not only the Bitcoin mining S9, but also you had a Monero mining ASIC. I'm not sure from which company, I think it's from Bitmain. Okay, you could have bought that ASIC, mined with some XMR. They didn't make your ROI. They made a hard fork, Monero hard forked. After the hard fork of the four cryptocurrencies, then they had numerous hard forks, and then a lot of them went obsolete, and a lot of people lost money. Okay, and it's funny it's funny because you now a lot of people just you know think that they're going to make millions of dollars in this market yet they're not being factual or realistic so more than that guys join our discord if you want to have a chat about gpus and asics more than that guys see you on the next one